fine, sir. How you doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Zipporah back in the building. Uh, so the last time we talked, uh, you know, you took a little bit of, of a hiatus because uh, of all uh, because of all of the bullshit from Hirschbach. Yeah, no, it was oh, JCT. Uh, John Christianer's trucking. Okay, okay. Yeah, I had, I got another one for you, CDS Transport. All right. They, they was even worse. All right, so you, uh, so you, so you took a little bit of hiatus from that, and now you got back, you're, you're back in the truck. Huh? You're- I drive for, um, I drive for Arc Express now, but I was working for CDS Transport, and they was even worse. We well, go to court on um sometime this month or next month we go to court. Now well, they trying to pay me my money. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. JCT or or No, CDS Transport C- in um Jackson, Georgia. Okay, and who are you with now? Arca Express, that I, Russian company. I I heard of Arca. I heard of Arca. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you you back with another uh Black Ops company is this uh is this 1099 too or this W2? No, it's it's 1099. It's 1099. Okay. And you say you got a you you say you got a you got one for Arca. So we're going to we're going to save we're going to save that. Today we're 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 talking about that post that uh that comment Lord, you made. Have mercy, right? Jesus. What? Listen, I'm going to tell you something. This is what children fail to realize. We're not obligated to take care of you. That is a choice. That is a decision that we make as parents. Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of kids that are that are in foster care. Maybe they parents couldn't take care of them. Or I said that we're not obligated to take care of our children. That we choose to do that. That is a choice that we make as parents. Because there are a lot of kids in foster care where their parents couldn't take care of them or they just absolutely did not want to do it. But when you turn 18, by law, you are an adult, which means that you're supposed to be able to take care of yourself. If that the first time she would have yelled at me, I would have whooped her ass right off the rip. Because, see, my daughter, she stayed with me until she was 21, about four or five months past 21. And she tried to size me up in my house, in my bedroom, while I'm paying all the rent. She had two jobs now. I'm paying all the rent, all the bills. She don't want to help pay light bill, water bill, none of that. She driving my car, doing all this disrespectful stuff. And she tried to size me up in my bedroom. Before I knew it, I punched her in the face. And I said, look, you need to get out of my house. I said, because, good old witty, you are old enough to take care of yourself. Okay, so let's, let's, let's dial it back a little bit. Now, you said... Now you said it's by choice. Why do you why do you feel that, you know, taking care of the kid is a choice of the parent after you had the kid? Because we don't even have to have them at all. A lot of people get abortions. I don't believe in abortion. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if you have this child, you have to be able to care for this child, take care of this child, raise the child, give this child some morals and respect and some manner. My mama didn't play that shit. My mama had a back slap out of this world. You didn't even know it was coming. My mama didn't play that. My mama raised five kids by herself after 18 years of marriage. She didn't tolerate no disrespect. If you wanted to be disrespectful, you thought you were grown, you had to go. You had to get out. If you wanted to do what you wanted to do, you had to leave our house because she will fuck you up. That's, that's okay. That, that's that old school mentality, you know. That's that what part. My sister was talking about. Yeah, and I was like, she is absolutely right. I would never. That girl said, if you hit me, I hit you back. It wouldn't have even got that far. It wouldn't have even got that far. She living in her mama's house rent free and won't even look after her child. And as far as the baby daddy, like your sister said, ain't nobody gonna put over that. She for the street. Ain't nobody gonna put up with that type of disrespect. Now, now you now what led up to the the incident between you and your daughter? Uh, you know what? The sad part about it is I don't remember what it was. I think I told her to do something, and she didn't do it, and she started yelling, and I was like, "Wait, what? Who are you, pal?" Before I knew it, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? You talking to me? Oh no, you got to go. You got to go. She live in Orlando, Florida right now. I say, you got to go. I said, if you want to be grown, you can't stay here because I don't care if you 50. If you in my house, there are rules. The girl will take my car and she will go 
uh, stay at a friend's house all night. I don't care if it was a boy or girl. It's not your car. It's my car. I pay the I pay the insurance on that car. I pay the insurance. The girl wouldn't even keep the oil changed and always calling me, asking me for gas money, and you got two jobs. What are you doing with your money? That's not how this thing works. So That's while, we, we ain't playing them games. So so while you was out over the road driving, you know, doing the right. thing, she yeah. was she was at home. She had access to the car. She had to she 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 got the car and didn't do nothing to the car. I mean, no gas, no oil change, no tire change. None no of that. Nothing. She calling she calling me saying the oil need to be changed or let me get some gas money until I get paid again. What are you doing with your money, little girl? What what why, are you why, doing? Why is she driving the car if she can't take care of it? Exactly. And that was the point that I was trying to make that all my siblings were trying to say, if you're driving the car, you got to keep the car up. You got to keep the oil At changed. Least. You got to keep gas in it. I'm paying the insurance on the damn car. It's, you know it's what I'm saying? Only, it's only fair. Like when I like like when when my truck was uh when before you know before my truck broke down um uh, my son you know drove you know drove the you know drove my truck he kept the gas in it he kept it up you know what i'm saying he changed at the oil change and everything that Let was me because tell you what I, was that was because i you know i said yo as long as you take care of the truck you can drive and then the roads have reversed but for me and him now i don't have my truck but I drive his car and it's only fair for me to kick in half to keep the car up being that I drive it. That's exactly not, that's, right. And that, then I'm going to tell you another sound, thing. That don't sound right to me for your, for your daughter to, to disrespect right. you like that. And then, and let me tell you another thing that, that I absolutely did not like. Show me your friends. I'll tell you who you are. I would, I had a, I had a 97, uh, Cause I was in healthcare that one of my uh one of my patients had bought me right. Mm -hmm. I would go over the road. This was before I brought the car that I got now. I would go over the road and I would come back. The car would be filthy. She don't let her friends spare makeup all on the back of my seat. Mm -hmm. It's trash everywhere. Food and shit everywhere. I was like, no, nah, baby, this ain't gonna work. I said, absolutely not. Because see, she has what you call a heavy foot. She has total four cars. Mm. So I was like, when I came back to Atlanta, I brought my car cash because I saved up all that money driving over the road my first year and a half. Mm -hmm. I brought my car cash. I said, baby, you won't tell this one. When she had money, I said, Arvion, go get your car cash. You can't afford a car note. I'm not going to pay your car note. I'm not going to pay your insurance. Mm -hmm. She go get a car note, had the car 30 days and totaled it. Not paying attention to what she doing, hit somebody from behind because she was on her cell phone. Oh, she it. she totaled four cars. I said, you won't tell this one up. Absolutely not. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because I worked too hard to get it. I don't like to pay car notes. So I'm not going to get a car with a car note. I saved up my money and I brought the car that I have cash. Because I don't like to pay car notes. So you got to be responsible at some point in time. Like, get your shit together. Like, she never, she all, she's always seen me work and pay all my bills. I bust my ass my whole life. Work, paid all my bills, took in her, did what I had to do. You ain't going to talk shit to me in my house. I wish that that girl would have been my child. I would be in jail right now. What's, what's the relationship between you and your daughter now? We have, a, we have a fine relationship. Our relationship is lovely. She just can't stay with me because her mouth. Because of her mouth, she cannot live with me. If you want to be grown like that, then you need to go make your own way and figure out life for yourself. Because I've always told her, like my mama told me, learn how to take care of yourself because I ain't going to be around your whole life. That's you know what I'm saying? So you got to fend for yourself. So that's what she's doing. Mm -mm. That's what's up. Nope.